my name is Adolf Kufa Affel. I am the active CEO and founder of High Refrigeration, a student startup based right here in Rochester, New York. Uh, so we like to say about high refrigeration, we're the Amazon locker, or, uh, Amazon locker of refrigeration. So you know those little <laughs> compartments within? We want to build a huge refrigerator with different compartments for individuals to place their food in. So how many of you guys work in offices? Great. How many of you guys have communal fridges in those offices? <laughs> or have had communal fridges in those offices? How many of you guys have known anyone whose food has been stolen through those refrigerators? <laughs> That's what I thought. Okay, so we want to kind of have a refrigerator for you guys to store your food in there securely and actually use an ID, PIN, or mobile app authentication system. So if somebody wants to get in your locker and let's say your family or a friend is putting some food in there, you can press it, it opens up, you put the food in and close it. So we want to kind of put this, first we started off at universities. We want to put it in universities so commuters like me can put their food in. At the same time, we want to put it in the dorms because in RIT, most freshmen don't actually have a refrigerator there on their first year. They have to go out and buy it. So we thought, might as well put on one on each floor so students can go there and buy it instead of having to go buy it the next year then have to like sell it to somebody else because you have a refrigerator in your new home. So we thought this can like negate that. Um, we also thought that's kind of a small market. Let's just kind of expand and go on to businesses as well for that fact that people steal for other people's food. I know I've done it before. Like, you know, there's a grape in there. I'll just take one grape. Who cares about that? Um, so we want to kind of just like negate that part. Um, and then I thought, how about homeless shelters? Most people who live in homeless shelters don't actually have a place to store their food, and even if they have it. So it's like perishables, they can put it in there, come back for that later. Um, and I started thinking about food deserts. Maybe we can work with farmers to kind of put their food in there and monetize that so that they no longer have to like go three hours out of the way just to go to like a Wegmans or something like that. Um, then we want to go to primary schools. So a lot of primary schools, uh, let's say, you know, you pack food for your kids, you know, they put it in there, and then you go and they drop it off in a cubby for five hours before they eat. That kind of hits the hazardous zone for most places. I think your ice, kinda, your ice pack melts and so on. So we want to kind of put it in there so kids kind of like put their food in and, you know, be healthy and be safe. Um, so we kind of expanded from there. So right now we're in the development stage and we're looking for investors and anyone that's kind of dealt with manufacturing, any mentors in that aspect. At the same time, we also want to work with SNAP programs. Anyone who knows anything about SNAP will be very great to us. And also work for like food assistance programs and also homeless shelters and primary schools. Um, so that's me. And thank you guys for listening. Yeah.